Yo guys, what's up? KLN here and today we're going to be doing a Moments Ronaldo review. So I managed to get him from the nation specific icon Moments 93 plus player pick and I got really really lucky but anyway with that being said heading into the player bio, 6 foot tall, medium medium work rate, right footed primarily with the 5 star skills and the 5 star weak foot coming in at around 4 to 5 million coins or well, around 4.5 million coins sorry on the market which is honestly pretty expensive at this stage of the game but you'd expect him to be extinct right his moments are nine so anyway with that being said moving on to the attribute details heading into the pace 99 pace he's got 99 attack positioning and finishing 96 shot power 92 long shots 99 volleys and 90 penalties shooting does not need any boosts at all Passing, however, he's going to get plus 5 to vision, taking it up to 90. Going to have 86 crossing with that boost, 91 free kick accuracy, 93 short pass, and the 80 long pass, alongside 99 curve. Dribbling on the card is fantastic. He's going to have 99 agility, 96 balance, and 99 ball control with those boosts. 85 heading accuracy, which is honestly pretty decent as well. He's got 85 jumping, 82 stamina, which is the big downside to this card, and he's got 88 strength with 49 aggression which is very low but you know I was really expecting R9 to be strong but he is strong enough to hold off players despite only having um well he's got 88 strength which is pretty good so when it comes down to the traits he's got the finesse shot traits and the flare traits and this is for that time when he's called the volley against Real Sociedad while playing for Real Madrid so with that being said it is time to get into the gameplay highlights with 97 rated icon moments Ronaldo all this footage is going to be in the elite division and in foot champs qualifiers because unfortunately I just stopped getting games. But anyway, in the first clip here, Ronaldo held the ball up there and in a flash is on the other end of the pitch. We can see if we can get past the Mavi and we do just using his speed, cuts inside, cuts back out. This guy moves his keeper because he's expecting me to shoot a cross goal. And I saw it and I just smashed it into the near post and we have our first goal of this video with Ronaldo. Moving on to the next clip here, our second goal with Ronaldo is absolutely ridiculous. First time flip flap, keeps it, really good strength, holds off Rashford, goes for the finish shot and finds top corner with an absolute belter. What a finish from Ronaldo, brilliant goal from him and we are able to equalize in that game. In this game here, Ronaldo makes a good run, Messi finds him, I go for goal and unfortunately he doesn't end up scoring but hits Allison, comes off the defender and then goes in. I will count that as Ronaldo's goal kind of because it was all because of him that we were able to score. Still in the same game here, Ronaldo makes a good run, Salah makes a brilliant pass, Ronaldo's one on one and he's not going to miss, don't expect him to miss and he doesn't. So good run made in behind there from Ronaldo, good pass from Salah and a fantastic finish from the Brazilian. Moving on to the next clip, still in the same match. Um, we made that pass through with Messi, it didn't really work out, but Ronaldo steals it from Cucurella and cut inside, go for a finesse from a very weird angle and he finesses it perfectly into the back of the net. Fantastic finesse shot and we have a hat-trick in this game, well not a hat-trick in this game, not yet anyway, but we do end up getting a hat-trick with him in this situation. Messi has it, moves it onto him, takes a touch inside and smashes it into the near post and now we do have a hat-trick with R9 in this game. He is absolutely fantastic. The attack positioning on this card, the shooting on the card is all brilliant. He doesn't just have a hat-trick, he's got four now. A Panenka down the middle and we go 5-2 up in the second game of this video. With that being said, moving on to the third match of this video, Messi was a good one too as Alexander-Arnold played it through, perfectly weighted and Ronaldo was there in behind to dink it over the goalkeeper and get a goal back for us in this game to make it 3-2. This is still in the same match, Varane moves it on to Saar, Ronaldo is in support, I'm going to try and play it through to him, doesn't work out, but he controls the ball, turns past Kyle Walker, gets it into the path of Lionel Messi, who smashes it into the back of the net, his one-on-one -on -one is not going to be off target, he is not going to miss it, not expecting him to, and he doesn't, but all that possible because of that good work from Ronaldo, and we were able to score. Heading into this clip, straight from kickoff, some excellent dribbling from Ronaldo, keeps the ball really close to his body. Gets past the defender, runs in behind, one on one with the goalkeeper, and again slots it away. Beautiful finish following a very, very good run straight from kickoff, and we were able to score. Another goal here with Ronaldo, scoop turn onto the left foot to create that angle. A very difficult angle, but on the five star weak foot, I decided to just smash it into the near post, and we do end up getting a brace in this game with Ronaldo. 
Let's start all from this match. So Salah gets it into R9 here, takes a touch pass to the defender. Just going to try to accelerate past Gomez, and we do exactly that. And again, a pretty tight angle, but he manages to find the top corner yet again. Brilliant finish from Ronaldo, and we do end up going 3-1 up in this game. So now it is time to go into the next match. Messi gets it into Kante. Kante gets it off to Mo Salah. We're going to see if Ronaldo makes a run. And he does. We're going to dink it over to Messi though. Messi knocks it down to Ronaldo. Takes a touch and finds the back of the net. Finds the top corner actually with a fantastic volley. And we do just get a consolation goal in this game with Ronaldo. This was in the Elite Division and this guy was absolutely ridiculous. Moving on to the next match here, Messi wins the header, gets it into Salah, this is the last match of the review if I'm not wrong, Salah goes for the finesse shot, gets blocked and at the last second there if you were watching him, he just makes it run in front of the defender and we are able to smash in a first time finish and equalise in this game. However, that's not the only equaliser we're going to get in this game. This is another one. Messi gets it after Donnarumma and just presents possession to him. Switches it across to Ronaldo, who, honestly, that's a very good finish from the Brazilian. Just stands on one foot, places it into the top corner with the other, and we are able to equalise again in this match. This is to make it 3-2 here. Cuts inside, cuts back out, goes for goal, and Alisson pushes it onto the post, I think. But regardless, it falls to Salah and we have an easy rebound. Good running from Ronaldo, good skill from Ronaldo and unfortunately we don't end up getting a goal with him. But we do end up getting a goal with him here if I'm not mistaken. Kante gets it into Messi, just shifts the ball into Salah with a brilliant first time pass. Takes a touch, plays it in, Ronaldo takes a touch, goes for goal and we are able to get a hat-trick in this game with R9. Could have been 4 had he, had he um, converted the chance instead of hitting the post but doesn't really matter. Good work from him and we are able to get another hat-trick with Ronaldo. Okay guys, so with that being said, it is time to review the card and in 6 games he managed 14 goals and 1 assist. Remember this is all in the Elite Division and Foot Champs qualifiers and in the Elite Division, especially at this stage of the game, these people play like they have a gun to their head. So, um, really really good goal return, 15 goal contributions in 6 games is absolutely fantastic, 14 goals and 1 assist is very very good. Heading into the attribute details, the pace, he is very fast but is he Salah or Mbappe fast? I wouldn't say so. I'd give him a 9.9 .9 out of 10 for pace. He is very quick but not that level of quick. When it comes down to the shooting on the card however, the shooting on the card is absolutely top tier guys. The shooting is fantastic. Long shots, finishing, um, finesse shots, all of, all of the above he can do very easily on the left foot and the right foot. Very similar to Mo Salah when it comes down to shooting but I would give him the, the edge when it comes down to actual finishing. It is very very good. So for shooting I'm gonna go ahead and give him a 9 or well, actually a 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10 for shooting. When it comes down to the passing honestly he's got 83 passing but it doesn't feel like that in game. His passing in game is very good. You guys saw that um, that pass he made through to get the assist and just the passing in general is able to hold up the play and, um, and easily move the ball on to other players. So the passing on the card is decent, the short passing is decent, the long passing, I don't really expect him to make those long raking balls across the pitch, but if you wanna play a dinked pass over to your striker, he can definitely do it. When it comes down to the dribbling on the card, sensational, absolutely sensational. Although he's got 86 balance, maybe with the engine chem style, you don't really feel it, but honestly, like I said, you don't really feel it. So dribbling on the card is absolutely ridiculous. He's got five star skills as well. Is it as fast as someone like Messi, Neymar, Salah? I wouldn't say so. So I'd go ahead and give him a 9.9 out of 10 for dribbling. It is very, very good. And honestly, you would expect it to be. The huge plus on this card with the dribbling and the pace is the strength that this card has. ATA strength, he's got very low aggression, but ATA strength is very, very good and it is more than good enough to hold off players while dribbling or running at them. So um, that plays a huge part in the dribbling and the pace. So for the physical, I would give him an 8.5 out of 10, but because of his stamina being so low, I'm going to have to go and give him an 8.3. The stamina on the card is honestly the only problem and this might be where it makes him, I wouldn't say not worth the coins but it does hinder the card a lot because you spend 4 million coins, you want to use the card all game long, you want to have fun with him, play around with him but you can't because he's got 82 stamina, he gets tired by 60 minutes and you have to take him off. Making this review, I kept him on the pitch sometimes till extra time and he had no stamina left so um, 
the stamina on the card is a huge problem but if you had to ask me if it overshadows everything else on the card I wouldn't say so. The stamina is a problem, fine, but you're spending 4 million coins on this card. He has a very good card, the best icon in the game actually, maybe. So in my opinion, you spend 4 million coins on this card, he'll win you the game in the first half. You don't need him in the 80th minute, you don't need him in the 70th minute to, to win you the game. He can, if you need him to, he can last a full 90 minutes, but he gets very, very tired. If you are using him, definitely use him as striker, and the best camp style would be Definitely an engine camp style just to boost the passing and to boost the balance as much as you can. It's pointless boosting the, the physical because the stamina is not going to go up. Don't really need him to win headers and the aggression, even if you boost it by 20, it's still not going to make much of a difference. So yeah, with that being said, it is time to end the review. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.